904 Day, which was started by our own Heather Schatz, who I've said many times is a genius, and some friends uh, in a, a few years back. It takes place Monday, September 4th. Get it? 904. And actually, like I have to say that when I first heard 904 Day, I did not get that it was 904. So, I mean, that's my bad. But you probably got it because you're smarter than me. Anyway, it's a day to celebrate all things local that help make Jacksonville and the entire First Coast awesome. And sitting with me now is my boss, the man with the plan, David McGowan, president and CEO of WJCT Public Media, is here to tell you how you can support the work we do as a part of the celebration. Take it away. Good morning, Al. Great to be with you this morning. And thank you for inviting me to do the shameless plug portion of the show this morning. You're good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I really think it's important that people realize what an imp impressive and important local institution this organization is. I know that a lot of people think that we may be owned by larger national organizations like NPR or PBS. But the fact is that WJCT Public Media is a locally owned nonprofit organization. We have a board of trustees that I answer to, and that board of trustees answers only to you, to our listeners, to our viewers, to the people who reside and take part in all of the things that are happening in this community. And that is a very precious asset. It's a precious asset that I think we shouldn't take for granted. Yeah, and so is this a new initiative for the station? Well, 904 Day is something that has, as you know, is a kind of a grassroots thing that's grown up a couple of years ago. You mentioned that some of the folks here have been a big part of developing that uh, kind of initiative to take pride in all the things that happen here locally uh, that are really unique to this area. And so we're just leaning into that, taking the opportunity to remind people that WGCC Public Media not only, of course, operates this local radio station and gauges the community and the kinds of conversations that you've just been having, of course, our local television services, our music services, our early education services. There's so much that this group does here that works here that I'm honestly sometimes amazed at everything yeah. that WJCT Public Media contributes. And so it's just an opportunity for us to remind people of that fact and to think about as you think about supporting local businesses, your local shops, whatever those may be, the organizations that contribute to life here. To think about including WJCT public media in those thoughts. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, and so do they have to wait until uh, 904 day or oh, no. can they do it now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, people are always welcome to contribute to WJCT public media. It's very easy to do. You just go on to WJCT.org and hit that donate button at the top. And I invite you, if you feel so inclined, you can contribute $9.04 a month if that's your thing. Uh, and we would be grateful for your support anytime. Of course, Monday is 904 day itself, and you can expect uh, to see some communications around that from us. But no, of course, your support is welcome and very much appreciated anytime. What is your favorite thing about 904 aside from WJCT? Oh, boy, that's a hard one. Well, you know, Al, I live right on the Riverwalk. Mm. And so every evening, including an evening like Yesterday, after the storm blew through, my wife and I often take a walk all the way down the river walk and back. And one of the things I love about that, I think of the river walk as the 904 Central Park. Mm -hmm. The people you see, the diversity of our community that you see on the river walk in the evenings, it is something that I don't think many people who don't walk the river walk know about. It's a special place. The light last night as the storm blew through. It was amazing. It's amazing, right? Yeah. It's, a, it's an amazing spot. I think that might be it. That or Memorial Park. Yeah. There is, uh, <clears throat> there is a beauty uh, in Florida after a storm. It's just it's so quiet and peaceful, and you just, uh, I just love it. Yes, it's something special. It's something, honestly, I had not really experienced before I came to the 904. Uh, and so, yeah, there's lots to appreciate here including this place, yeah. WJCT Public Media. David McGowan, president and CEO of WJCT Public Media, my boss, my buddy, the man. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. Thank you, Al.